all right guys like usual welcome back to the next episode we left off we're still in this big ass mountain that apparently never ends Father, hopefully we'll be getting there soon what you got buddy i don't see you man huh weird anyway there was a couple of different ways to go when we left off so I'm gonna go this way. Usually one's the path, one's a uh, uh, loot path, treasure, chest, whatever. Oh, must be something I gotta... Oh, okay. Stay. Good job. Right before I started recording this, though, I found out that ragnarok is going to be releasing on the november 9th so that is so awesome oh look there's that oh. so what's left the inn as always but anyway so yeah it sucks that it's playstation exclusive but i literally got a playstation 5 oh shit Damn, no, there are enemies in these things Well, that was unexpected. I guess he had the loot. Yep. Wasn't very good loot anyway. But anyway, yes. So November 9th, God of War Ragnarok. That's basically the sequel to this game. It's going to be so awesome. They released a CGI trailer today for it and... Man, it's just gonna be awesome. I can't wait. Sucks that having to wait all the way till November. Uh, there. I was like, where's the prompt? Not long now, Mom. Oh shit! Also, yeah, I switched my armor. Uh before this episode so i went with a heavy stun build basically hopefully we get quick stuns now with a lot of the enchantments i've picked up a lot of them had great stun damage so and it stacks up to 30 percent so we definitely got some stun damage working for us on this play on this build now look the summit we're so close now Your quiver. Strap broke when we fought the dragon. It's all right. I can hold it. Stop. Like I said, it's hard to tell when you're in a cutscene <laughs> when you're actually supposed to be controlling them. Sometimes it's so clean, just so smooth. A broken quiver will slow your draw. Pain we endure. Faulty weaponry we do not. Will do for now. Good. Good. Hmm. Go. I think I'm gonna make a Steady compilation boy. video. Find your footing. Of all of Kratos's. Hmm. There are Focus sure a up. lot of them. What we got? Ice guys. Nice. Oh man, that stun damage is nasty. Damn, I thought they were getting him. They did not. It is over. You're not. <laughs> That's funny. Because normally at this point you wouldn't have the blades to be able to break that. Oh, 
Not very silent. That sounds like the same man who came to our house. You said you killed him. Shh. I see you brought company this time. Must be important if the sons of Thor deign to grace me with their presence. Tell me, you two still tripping over yourselves to impress Daddy? The tattooed man. Tracks show he now travels with a child. Where would they go next? Why would I know that? You're the smartest man alive, aren't you? Smarter than all the dead ones, too. You help me, I help you. Tell me where they are, and I'll talk to Odin. Your father won't let me go, Baldur, and he won't let you kill me. You have nothing to offer me, so take your questions, take your threats, take these two worthless wankers, and piss off! When no one's looking, we'll be back for your other eye. Don't you forget, we're everywhere. We really are, aren't we? Oh, shut up, you idiot. You couldn't see us, like, right there, though, so you're not too bright. What the fuck are we doing? Dude, the camera is like locked in this weird position. Ah, the very topic of conversation. A tattooed man traveling with a child. Boy took their path, make sure we're alone. But we just saw them leave. Do as I say. He doesn't know what you are. And I would keep it that way. Who are you? Me? I'm the greatest ambassador to the gods, the giants, and all the creatures of the Nine Realms. I know every corner of these lands, every language spoken, every war waged, every deal struck. They call me Mimir, smartest man alive. And I have the answer to your every question. Why does the son of Odin hunt us? Okay, there are a few gaps in my knowledge. <laughs> but Odin's had me imprisoned here for it. 109 winters. I'm a clever lad. I can piece it together. I promise. Just give him time. Nobody there. Just like I said. The boy's mother is dead. She wished her. She wanted us to spread her ashes on the highest peak in all the realms. Oh, then you've come to the wrong place, little brother. The highest peak in all the realms is not here in Midgard. It's in Jotunheim, realm of the giants. No! Could not be what she meant. Take a look. This is the last known bridge to Jotunheim in all the realms. See that mountain? Looks like a giant's finger scraping the sky. That's the highest peak in all the realms. No here. Can we just take that bridge? We have a Bifrost. When the giants destroyed all other bridges to their realm, they locked this one up with a secret rune. If it still exists, only a giant would know it. And all of them left Midgard a long time ago. True. But today, the winds of fate have kicked up a strange vortex of coincidence. Fact is, there's only one person alive who can get you where you need to go. And luckily for you, my schedule's wide open. We're going to Jodenheim, right? It's your best and only move from a tactical standpoint. It's the one place the man who cannot be killed won't follow you. What do we do? Yes! First, you need to cut off my head. Wait, what? And Odin made sure that no weapon, not even Thor's hammer, could free my body from these bonds. But fortunately, you don't need my body. The trick is, we need to find someone who can reanimate my head using the old magic. Old magic? Mm. There's a witch of the woods. She knows the old ways. And she'll help. She might do worth a try. But if she fails, he will be dead. He tortures me, you know. Every day, brother. Wouldn't himself sees to it personally, and believe me, there is no end to his creativity. Every single day. This... This isn't living. Very well. Oh, 
I can't watch this. Brother. In case you can't resurrect me, there's something you need to know. Boy. The longer you wait to tell him his true nature, the more damage you do. He will resent you, and you may lose him forever. There is much about me I would not have him know. So you value your privacy more than your son? I'm going to cut off your head now. Fair enough. You know, the way he says brother, it reminds me of the character Desmond on the show Lost. He even calls Atreus little brother. We're going to find the long-lost realm of the giants. That's... that's... Inconvenient. Yeah, that's just what I was going to say. And that's totally normal. I have a horned dude strapped to my belt. I hope I don't sit down. That's a good thing about going so long in between plays is you do forget a lot of the stuff. Do you remember the way to the witch's house? Yes. The woods with the blood red leaves. South of the lake. I know just where to go. I hope she made it back from Alfheim and can bring Mimir back. He seemed nice. Before you cut off his head. It makes it kind of like playing it again for the first time in a lot of parts. This is our first fast travel. You can only go to the shop, if I remember correctly, for a long time. Oh yeah, see, how convenient would it be to just go right to her? Why we can't do that? I don't know. Look at this place. This must be a branch of the world tree. Boy, stay on the path. Right, right, I know. I can't believe it was Balder that came to our house. The Acer though. Balder. And you fought him and won. Yes. One of Odin's sons, Thor's brother. And now he's hunting us with his nephews. Why is this happening? If we can raise the head, you can ask him. Okay. I just want to see you if know, it would let it's me. it's silly, but I secretly hope we find a giant somewhere in that mountain. I guess they really did leave Midgard, except for the serpent. It may be the last of his kind. Are you the last of your kind, too? Is that why you don't like to talk about My the... kind? I mean, your family. Before Mother and I. Where you came from. A mother, a father? Now is not the time for that. Yes, sir. This is basically like a load screen, honestly, so you could just sit here and wait, and whenever the dialogue finishes, it'll pop up, or you can roam around, it, but it's really just a load screen. Pretty smart way to do it, though. Brock. Brock! 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 What?! I'm on a fucking break. Don't hear me screeching at you whenever you're twiddling your short and curlies. Leave him, boy. No, fat. Well, you already soiled my solitude, so you may as well join me. We are not hungry. Good. It's not what I was offering. Saw your brother again. Congratulations. And I'm sure you'll let him go and roger my axe good and plenty again, hmm? Let's see the damage. Mm, little canker throat wouldn't know proper weight and balance if it were dangling off his chut. Hmm. Is he eating well enough? I guess. Good. 
All better. Now what the fuck else you want, huh? <laughs> Sometimes he gets so wrapped up in his work center he has it the sense to sip us up. And if he does remember, good luck getting him to cook his own meat. Guess I got all the stomach in the family. <laughs> yeah, along with the smarts. You miss him. What, that spit fister? What do you know? I just mean Hey, do you mind? Trying to concentrate here, already on a break from my break. Alright. Well, let's you get back to it. Why do you keep fucking talking then? Boy, what is the path back to the witch? First, we need to find a boat. Check. Do you remember the way back to the witch from here? That way. Behind the big statue of Thor. Which is this way? Oh shit, that shit's so crazy. I wish we could have gone on a trip like this with Mother. She could fight, couldn't she? Yes, she fought beautifully. I think it would have been quicker to go the other way. I wonder if the World Serpent even knows part of his body's lying over here. Where the fuck is the Thor statue? There's like a big ass statue. Oh, Jesus Christ. Was I at the that, feet of it when I left? I oh, see my no tower. Maybe I'm seeing things. I am not seeing things. <laughs> Jesus. So, know any good stories to pass the time? What kind of story? I don't know. Mother always had stories. Weren't you told me when you were a boy? There was a man I knew a long ago. His stories were brief and purposeful. Sounds fun. Do you remember any? Huh. There was one that concerned a hare and a tortoise. Like the witch's house? Unlikely. So what happens? They wager on a race between them. The hare is too confident of victory and foolish, while the tortoise is steady and disciplined. The tortoise wins. You haven't told a lot of stories, have you? That was a banger. A Kratos special. You can dock the boat here. Uh, oh, okay. I got you. Huh? The water dropped. And the serpent rose. Right. I knew that. Can we fast travel here now? I'm not going to. I just want to make sure. So it's still only Brock shop anyway. Maybe next time now it'll be here, available here. I know she's really powerful, but you really think the witch can bring a head back to life? She seems competent in her craft, and we have nothing to lose. If she can't bring it back to life, can we keep the head? No, but you may feed it to the fish. Okay. <laughs> so fucking weird. Little things that prove to betray us. Oh shit, I did not expect it to be enemies. Oh shit, the revenant too. Oh, 
another thing once we unlock these arrows they were automatically fully upgraded so because i had them upgraded before so now they are really powerful which is why that revenant can get stunned and actually get hit way easier now than before i bet this will lead out yeah we're not going out though we still got to get the winds of hell, hell or whatever to use those things. Now we can make that bridge. Through the wall. You did well. Yeah, you got. I think we need the winds of hell. What the fuck? Should I be able to go to her? I guess we do got to go that way. Kind of dumb. It's like they add all these extra little tasks to extend the game. It's just unnecessary. Turn back Ace. Guess the guys aren't welcome here. There you go, buddy. You move the camera angle a little bit and it changes his there direction. Is. I hope he remembers us. Is there a crystal around here? Hello. Get a little bit of lore. Boy. This is good to know. That's pretty significant. All right, to the witch. How's it going, Charlie? Is your witch friend here? What is that name? That's what he told me it was. What it sounded like in my head anyway. Charlie. Oh shit, I tried to do that, but he did that. Damn, you're so good to put that in here. They're definitely getting better. I gotta quit playing games in between recordings because then I get like uncoordinated I guess or muscle memory is lacking for the controllers because I'm hitting different buttons than what I need to to correspond with other games okay I'm gonna get read that real quick read it yes sir say their need things upon all who trespass Short and sweet. All right. Oh, that's a rune. I don't think I've ever seen that. Knock, knock. Oh, there she is here. It's so good to see you again. I knew you weren't dead. <laughs> Hello. Oh, can you bring a head back to life? Uh I'm not sure I understand what... Wait. Where did you get those? The arrows. Give them to me. Now. They were a gift. Do as she says, boy. These arrows are dangerous. 
You're wicked. You find any more, you destroy them, understand? Do you understand? Say it! I understand. If I see them, I'll destroy them. It's all I ask. Forgive me. Please, take my arrows in their place. I have no need for them anymore. <sighs> now, what's this about a head? <sighs> Do you have any idea who this is? Did you kill him? At his request. He claimed you could revive him. Me? Are you sure you heard him right? Yeah, we, we said she could, not him. Take him to the table. Hey, Mille. It's been a long time since I've practiced the old magic. Hold him there. Let's have a look. Well, thankfully his head hasn't decayed much and his brain is still intact. Nice clean cut. Cutting off his head of all people. I sure hope you know what you're doing. Now, hold his head under the water and don't let go. I mean it. That's enough. It worked! Let me see him. Mamir, you there? Yes. Good. Uh, oh. Nice. Hello, Freya. Been a long time. You look well. What I did, I did for them. As far as I'm concerned, death suits you better. I'd bow if I could, Your Majesty. Forgive me. <sighs> Had I known the witch in the woods was Freya herself, I never would have suggested this. Freya? The goddess Freya? You didn't know either. Sorry. When word gets out that Mimir is free, the wrath of Odin won't be far behind. You are God. Leader of the Vanir, once yes, but no longer. You did not think it important to tell me. Are you really going to lecture me about that? We are leaving, boy. But... Now. You're welcome. Now it's connected again. How did you do that? We cannot trust her. Because she's a god? Have I taught you nothing, boy? But she's helped us a lot. She lied. Some people value their privacy. Best not to judge, brother. When I require your counsel, Head, I will ask. Fair enough. Get me to Tyr's temple in the Lake of the Nine, and I'll get you to Jotunheim as promised. We know the temple. What's there? Only the last living giant in Midgard. Who better to tell us the way? The World Serpent? Wait, do you know how to talk to him? Indeed. He speaks an obscure tongue more ancient even than these mountains. None are left in Midgard who speak it. Except, of course, for me. You do? It's true. You wouldn't know it to look at him, but Jormungandr is a sparkling conversationalist. You done? Holy moly. I didn't know there was going to be that much dialogue. All right, guys, that's where I'm going to end this episode. As always, please like, subscribe. Again, I appreciate you guys tuning in. And uh, take care. We'll see you in the next one.